Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today on our series, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week, we're looking at a, um, a stochastic processes problem where we're, we suppose the, member, the number of visits a website gets is a Poisson process with a mean of 10 visits a minute. A minute. Um, so part A asks for um, finding the probability that there are less than three visits in the next minute, and part B asks um, to find the probability that there is one call in the next 15 seconds and two calls um, in the next 20 seconds. So we're going to use uh, minutes as our time. So for 15 seconds, it's a fourth of a minute. And for 20 seconds, it's one third of a minute. Um, so for this, we're going to need the uh, Poisson distribution, um, which is which can be formatted like this. Um, so the prob probability that the number of website visits in time t is k is going to be represented by this formula e to the negative lambda t um, multiplied by lambda times t to the k uh, all over k factorial. And we'll use this formula um, to find A and B. Um, for part A, to uh, look at the probabilities that um, the, there are less than three calls in the first minute, um, we're going to look at <coughs> the probability that there's 0, 1, 2, and 3 calls, because it's less than or equal to. So we can write that out. So we could start off by plugging in uh, for um, the probability that there's zero calls. We're going to plug in zero for k. Um, we know lamb our lambda is 10, um, which is uh, the mean of our visits. Um, and then we can just do the same thing for 1, 2, and 3. We're going to sum up all these probabilities. So we have, um, you know, plugged it in, and we just have to multiply or do out um, each individual probability and then sum them together. Um, if you want to make it simpler, you could factor out a e to the minus 10 times 1, which is e to the minus 10, um, and then we can just add them out to find the probability. Uh, so part A um, is going to give us 0 0.0103 as a probability, and that probability is 1% that um, there are less than three visits in the first minute. Because we know it averages, or the mean is uh, 10 visits a minute, so uh, three or less visits is going to be um, way below our average. So with this Poisson process, we can uh, determine um, you know, how, how far it varies from the, the mean and the probability of that. So it's going to be 1% uh, for part A. And then part B, uh, we can do similarly. So part B, um, since these two uh, events are independent, we can multiply um, the two events separately, uh, do them out and multiply them to get a total probability that there's one call in the first 15 seconds and then two calls in the next 20 seconds after that. Um, so let's go ahead and plug that in to our uh, Poisson distribution. Uh, 
Um, so given our t and our k, we can plug in uh, to this formula. Uh, we're going to have the same mean of visits, lambda, as uh, part a. But our, um, our t and our k are going to be a little different here. And then, um, you know, solving this, plugging through, and evaluating it, um, we get uh, about 4%. So um, even though these two events are more likely than in, the, in part A, so um, the probability that in the first 15 minutes there's one call is 20%, and then probably that there's two calls in the next 20 minutes is pretty much 20% as well. Um, but since we have to find out the probability that both these events happen, we're going to multiply those two together and get a smaller number, which is going to give us 0 0.0407. Um, and that gives us 4%. Um, so that's how we solve um, you know, probabilities with Poisson, dis Poisson distributions. Um, so thank you for checking out this video. Um, if you like this video, uh, like the video. And there's more videos in the Advanced Knowledge playlist. Um, yeah, subscribe for more content. And uh, have a great day.